All right, here we go. Question number 14 from our college algebra, homework number three. In my lab math, solve by completing the square. So they've given me a quadratic <clears throat> in standard form. It's already equal to zero. And up here in the corner, we're going to go through the steps how to solve with completing the square. So it turns out the first thing you need to do is if the uh, quadratic is equal to zero, you need to start by moving the constant over. The 25 is going to have to move over, and that's going to give us eight, uh, x squared minus 8x equals negative 25. So notice I left some space in here because we're going to come up with a new constant by completing the square. And so here's how completing the square works. You're going to take the coefficient of x, which is the negative 8, and you're going to divide that by 2. Negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. That number gets squared. Negative 4 squared is a plus 16, and that is the new constant for our trinomial on the left. Of course, whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So we're going to add 16 to this side also. And now let's look what we've got. We've got x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals negative 25 plus 16. I believe that is negative 9. And now this trinomial, like I said, the trinomial here on the left since we did the completing the square, that should factor nicely. If we read the signs, we can see they're both going to be negative. x and x give me the x squared. And now I need numbers that multiply to make 16 that also add to make 8. And that is 4 and 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Negative 4 and negative 4 add to make negative 8. Notice that those factors are identical. And what that means, it means I can simplify and say x minus 4 squared. And then we can get rid of the squared by taking the square root. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. So we're going to square root both sides. The square and the square root cancel leaving me x minus 4. On the other side, we're take, look at this, we're taking the square root of a negative number, and that means that we're going to end up with complex solutions. And also remember, when you take the square root of both sides, you get a plus and a minus, okay? So the square root of 9 is 3. Since you're square root, rooting a negative, you're going to get an i. And then we're going to take the negative 4 and bring it over to solve for x. That's going to give us 4 plus or minus 3i. So that should be our solutions. Let's put them in and see if we're right. 4 plus 3i and 4 minus 3i. Bam. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.